I think uh, are there any brands are there any brands that you can kind of like throw out that you've worked on or help besides w wwe oh yeah orange bowl is a huge brand i've done everything for orange bowl probably the last and when i mean everything i mean everything from napkins to you know working on the logo and right and, and getting it on the field oh we even that on the field wow. <laughs> you know what so, so you're talking uh, you're talking about ncaa orange bowl yeah so orange people, bowl, people football, who don't know orange bowl football even the, the they have a basketball uh game too yeah yeah um i do the advertising usually every year um then everything that's falls down from the advertising right. both web and print and i do the tickets the mm -hmm. tickets did so if you ever been to an orange bowl and you have a ticket mm -hmm. i've in the he last eight or nine years it. he designed I probably it. designed it wow. um uh just absolutely everything for them they're they're just great people over there i love yeah. them they're so fun to work with they let you play they they um, kind of give you f almost free range of design and then or we talk about it it's always it's always a thought out process you know right. every we always want to hit what everybody is looking for or what everybody wants the message of the year to be or mm -hmm. the tone to be and yeah, I was going to um, say, how does that process go? Like, how, do, how did they reach out to you, say, we want this done, and you guys just usually, sit and meet, like, back and forth? Usually we, we sit and we talk about different looks, different feels, um, um, go through mood boards, you know, right. figure out what, you know, what we're trying to convey at the end of the day with our advertising, and then um, uh, go through anywhere from – five to 15 rounds Jesus. of designs <laughs> you know, depending on how yeah. good things go um but uh yeah the whole process of working for a marketing firm is is fun because in one moment you might be working on say like an orange ball mm -hmm. and then the next moment you might be working on a hospital you yeah. know so you have to be able to switch gears and be able to switch your styles mm -hmm. up you know with a flip of a hat you have to be versatile for sure yeah so i mean I always enjoy that part of uh, of doing that because, you know, I, I have my stuff that I keep for fun, right? And I always be, and I always get to guide that, and uh, but to be able to kind of like, you know, have someone come to you and be like, you need to understand our brand and what we're going for, right? And then be able to understand it and 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 do work for them mm -hmm. and give them the vision that they can't provide for themselves That's, right i always look at that as a, a a blessing because not a lot of people are able to do that yeah do you think uh doing a lot of artwork when you were younger and then the graffiti and all that kind of allowed you to do what you do now be very adaptable to a lot of the projects you work on i think so yeah i think so i i think the attitude towards art that i had also does because i think a lot of kids when they're younger they're like, oh, I, I draw, so I'm just going to draw, mm -hmm. you know, or I paint, I'm just going to paint, yeah. you know. And for me, it was like I almost had like an art ADD. Yeah. It was like, oh, OK, I drew. OK, I, I, I could do that. That's it. OK, yeah. let's go to sculpture. Let's go to, you know, something else, you mm -hmm. know. Um, you can find art in basically anything you do in, in reality. You know, right. when you get up in the morning and you put on your clothes, you're designing what you're wearing. So, I mean, that's true. You can really like if you think about it, you can really apply design to everyday living, everyday going. You know, yeah. you design your path on how you're going to get here mm -hmm. unless, you know, you're like me and use ways for everything. <laughs>